viewers once again it's my pleasure to invite my friend and mentor professor sai prakash my childhood friend and college mate to do an experiment which many students find very difficult to understand many of the times sai yeah. students ask us what is a strong acid what is a weak acid what is a strong electrolyte weak electrolyte i think you have the apparatus for explaining that to us today I'll tell you about that right no. it's a very simple device we have a bulb in series and this is actually a discarded under tutti cell don't need to worry about this in other places you take as well a broken bulb right and then use that as an electrode the electrode is uh, in this case is separated by distance because there is no contact but also we have the under tutti cell this is only to dip in the solution and have electrical light coming or not so, so just one second very, i will summarize <coughs> this we don't have to be worried about this what we need is just two electrodes dipping into a solution and here the two wires are to be separated by some distance so that the current can flow be in between is that right exactly that's right now okay, let what us we do is huh. the first one we take distilled water and find out if there is any conductivity distilled water. distilled water so i am giving you a beaker full of distilled water here it is let us see dip it dip it into that and you may please switch on yeah. the light i'm switching on the light just observe this students observe that while the current is flowing through the entire circuit there is no glow in the bulb so what does that mean sai there are no ions that means no ion means no current no, flow no no current flow that's right so there is no current flow in the circuit just now even Next. though the mains are on, on. right Next. now we'll what shall we do sugar solution now we'll take sh sugar solution okay so i am replacing this with a smaller beaker containing some sugar solution let us dip it into that start the flow and see after this you must concentrate on the bulb okay so no changes here also any do you students find anything over here any glow in the bulb no glow so once again no current flow no current. so sugar solution and distilled water both of them are not giving us a passage of current through the solution Fine. right now. what next. shall we do next now take acetic acid take acetic acid glacial acetic acid so we will take glacial acetic acid shall i take it in this beaker bigger beaker better because you want a bigger beaker okay so i'll take this out here i'm putting it over here like this take acetic acid now acetic acid this is pure concentrated acetic acid and it will be popularly known as glacial acetic acid it's quite pungent and this glacial acetic acid when you dilute it to 1% strength it is called vinegar which we make use for in our exactly. cooking so shall i pour it into please, this please now just keep this volume such that hold 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 for one minute uh we just have to dip the electrodes down a little more just dip it Okay. Yes, it has dipped. Now I'll switch on this again. So still nothing happens. If there are no ions. There is no conductivity. That means glacial the distilled water is really pure distilled water. If you try with tap water, sometimes with all the ions and impurities, there may be a slight glow. We have not done that with the tap water. Can we try that tap water later? We'll see. We will try that later on. Let's just finish this let's experiment. Finish. Now. This pure acetic acid, glacial acetic acid, doesn't give any glow here right now. Keep on adding water. Should I add water yeah, into this. Water. Now? This is water. now I am going to add distilled That's water, and let us see what happens. Focus, children, students, please focus on to this. Need a glass water. Stop. Study. Good.
just check up if this is on or off. It's on. Or not. <laughs> okay, add some. That's why big, bigger beaker was needed for that. Yes. Hold, hold this. Now, what is Sutta doing in this reaction? Glacial acetic acid, when water is poured inside, that becomes a dilute acid. And then the process, acetic acid with the formula CH3COH. H plus ions are removed. You get acetate ions and H plus ions. That means H plus ion is a highly conducting species. So, the added water got this life. So, acetic acid is now partially dissociated. It is breaking up into acetate and hydrogen ions. Okay, add some more water. I'll do that. That means we are going to check the dilution process here. And what exactly happens? Please, may I add a something a please, little please, bit please. extra? Go ahead, go ahead. Students, here you have been seeing that when we started with pure acetic acid, there was no flow in current, no flow of current, and therefore the bulb was not glowing. As we are adding the water, the bulb has begun to glow. Is it not strange? We are adding water, but the acid is beginning to dissociate. In other words, the acid is becoming stronger. Am I right in that? No, Stronger in the sense that it is dissociating more and producing more ions. Correct. So, the, the degree of dissociation increases with dilution. So, the degree of dissociation, that means dissociation means breaking up. Acetic acid is breaking into acetate ions and hydrogen ions, so this which is, we will call yeah. hydronium ions to be more specific. Now, let us add. Shall I? Please. Any changes here? With dilution, you see the intensity of light increasing. You keep on mixing, I'll go on adding it slowly. Add some more. Add some more. That's it. It's the maximum it comes to. This is about the maximum that it will come oh, okay. to. Now you can see that when we had added less water, the glow was a little less. But now, on adding more water, the glow has become a little brighter. So, I have washed it with ordinary water. And now, what would you like, Sai? HCl. You want HCl. So, shall I make use of this water first to fill it? Then we'll yeah. add one drop. We already have HCl. We have HCl in concentrated in form. That, in that one? Would no, that is sodium chloride. Okay. You can switch it on and let us see what is the glow. This is what? This is tap water. Tap water. And tap with this, I am going to add just a few drops of HCl, of HCl and let us see what happens. Students, please keep your eye on the bulb. Let's see this in the natural diffusion process. See, it has become much more brighter. Just a few drops a regular one. <laughs> of HCl has produced so much of this glow. HCl comes under, under the category of strong acids. In our case, you can say in general, strong acid. Right? When you take HCl in water, it's almost 100% dissociated. They are in total ionic forms, H plus Cl minus. The same thing doesn't happen with acetic acid. There is an equilibrium. Acetic acid gives you acetate and hydrogen ions. And as you dilute it, the equilibrium shifts to the right side, giving you more products, that is hydrogen ion and acetate ion. So, we went on diluting and we got the intensity becoming brighter and brighter. In the case of HCl, you don't need anything. As you just add few drops, it's 100% dissociated almost. Therefore, a beautiful glow. You will also see this glow in some solutions like salt solution. Salt solution. I will so use, so right, so but right. let us quickly summarize what we have done here. Right. We have taken water which is ordinary tap water and we found that the tap water contains some dissolved minerals mm. which have allowed conductivity to That's take place. Fine. Then when we have added just a few drops of 
concentrated HCl, that is hydrochloric acid, immediately the glow became very bright. What does it mean? It is once again. Yes, you can switch it on. There you can see. What you can see is that when hydrochloric acid is added to this, it is 100% dissociated. That means it dissociates completely. Dissociation means breakdown into ions and those large amount of ions are allowing it to allow the passage of current to flow through and that is why you are getting such a bright glow. Now let us repeat this with the help of... Can we take the sugar solution and try again? Sugar yeah. solution we can try, yeah. but we will have to clean it very thoroughly. If not, what will yeah, happen this, is... This is uh... I, I will try. Sugar solution you have done already. Yes, we have already done it, but let us try it once more. This is the process of cleaning this uh, electrode. Yeah, this is because one of the methods of cleaning it. Of course, you, you will realize, students, that this is a method which does, does not do 100% cleaning, but at least it helps in getting rid of some of the ions at least. It should be most of the ions. I <laughs> hope <laughs> some of the ions will get <laughs> Some of the ions means we will get some glow, but I want to remove as much as possible. Okay, so let us see what happens. You want to try sugar again? No that means you have cleaned it thoroughly. Well, I must pack myself because this is quite a well cleaned electrode. Now, right. let us repeat this with sugar, so, uh, salt solution. Very. This was sugar solution. I just keep it to the side here. And what I will do is, I am not washing it this time. Yeah. Let us see what happens. Sir? Right. What do you expect? I expect a bright glow. <laughs> because sodium chloride is a strong electrolyte and just like HCl, there also the dissociation is almost 100%. So, will you please switch it off yeah. so that... Uh, uh, students, let me summarize this very quickly. We have studied and seen today that when we take sugar or pure distilled water, we do not get any glow. Therefore, there are no ions to conduct the electricity. Correct. Then what we have done is, we have taken pure acetic acid and done the same experiment, again no glow. But when we started adding water, we start, saw that the bulb started to glow more and more. Yeah. A stage comes when the light intensity remains the same. But why did this happen? Acetic acid dissociates, that means breaks down into acetate ion and H plus or hydronium ions you should call them and this allows the passage of current. After some time there is an equilibrium. As much acetic acid ions are breaking, that many of the pro products are recombining. So this is called an equilibrium. Then what does it mean? If we need ions to conduct electricity. Then we have done experiments with hydrochloric acid which is 100% dissociated. We hardly, we took water and I hardly added one or two drops and suddenly you saw a bright glow. The same thing with happened with salt or sodium chloride solution. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid which completely dissociates and similarly sodium chloride is an salt, ionic salt which completely dissociates. So when we repeated this experiment with sugar solution, you found that there was no glow in the Bulk. So, indicating that sugar solution produces no ions. In short, when ions are present, you get current flow. When ions are not present, you don't get current. A fascinating experiment, don't you think, students? And thank you, Professor, for your nice explanation. Thank you, thank you. I hope the children have enjoyed this. I hope so, too. And thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.